Yo, what's up? Welcome back to King's channel. Today is a special episode because I'm right now in Hong Kong and I got a really special friend with me today. Hello everyone. Is this is Alvin. And as you guys know, well, maybe you guys don't know because like if you check out my really old videos, uh, Elwin like years ago. <laughs> Yeah, Owen oh, uh, was the guy that I met when I was in Australia doing working holiday, and uh, I guess the reason why we became friends is because at that time we were both try to learn English, but well, not really for you though. I am. I mean, you. maybe I was the one that actually encouraged you to speak English with me. It was actually kind of like um, a weird feeling at the first time that I saw Alvin. So we just started speaking English and I, even though I kind of feel like he knows how to speak Mandarin. But, you know. Before you, uh, every Asian stuff that I met, I pretended I don't know how to speak Mandarin or Cantonese. Really? Yeah, if I met people from the Taiwan, you speak English. I just told them I cannot speak Mandarin at all. I can only speak English. What about like Sean? Sean, he cannot speak English at all. <laughs> unless, That's the only unless way. Unless someone who don't know English. Yeah. Will be like, oh. Yeah. So anyway, uh, today I got some questions to ask Elwin. Right. I'm in Hong Kong, and uh, maybe you guys don't know. Elwin is not. What do you mean? Elvin is like, is already a dad, yeah. which means he has a baby. Not a baby anymore. Little kid. Yeah, little kid. And as a person who is not even red, not even married yet, I got some questions to ask Elvin. Okay. First question for Elvin. Um. Is it really? Should we do the rehearsal first? <laughs> I mean, like I, I was thinking about what to, what to ask you this morning, but somehow I just can't remember. Oh yeah. So you did do the rehearsal I in did, your mind. Did, yeah, did not really comes out smoothly. Um, I really don't remember what's my first questions. Okay. I have to think about it. Spontaneous. Do, do you have anything you want to ask me first? Ask you? Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't rehearse for that. Before I come up with my first question. Yeah. <clears throat> what was the first question? No, I can't really remember. Uh, okay, this is the first question that I'm going to ask you. Is why are you coming to Hong Kong? Um. And only stay for like two nights. Alright, so because I'm going to Canada in December, in early December. And... I was like, why not just go visit Elwin because it's such a close place to Taiwan, right? I've never been to Hong Kong too, so, you know, why not to see how Elwin's doing and then that's how easy it is, the reason that I come here. Okay. Yeah. And why do you only just stay for two nights? That's too short of a period. I, I don't want to bother you for too long because I know you have your own business. Mm -hmm. That's very, very thoughtful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, because also the policy for like those pandemic policy, yeah. you got to have like, you know, do a lot of like rapid tests and do like those PCR tests. Mm. Kind of annoying. So if I can um, get back to Taiwan earlier, then I don't have to do all that shit. All right. Yeah. So have you come up with your first question yet? Mm. Oh yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Okay. So first question is actually coming from my girlfriend's mom. Oh. Yeah. Because we once she has to do with me. <laughs> once, once we have a conversation, and she told me that not having a baby, it's a selfish behavior. Okay. And because you already have a baby. So my question to you is like, what do you think about deciding not to have baby? Is that really a selfish thing to you? 
I don't think so. What's the reason? I think that... it's the opposite. <laughs> like asking someone to have a baby is a kind of selfish behavior. I mean, that was my thought when I first hear the mom saying this to me. Yeah, I know you cannot talk back to her like that. Yeah, but deep inside, I think about it. Yeah. What you think that is I, selfish? I, no, I I think about what if baby. she's right. Yeah. What kind of standpoint would make that statement correct? Okay. So for the society, yeah. that's kind of correct, right? Yeah, if you're talking if about traditional you, like point of view. I mean, we we need more younger people to support the whole society. Yeah. If we don't have those. Energy, then the whole population were getting. Do you think there's too much, too many people on Earth already? <laughs> we're getting harder to survive, right? Yeah. So I mean, in some angle, that's kind of correct. Yeah. But that won't make me want to have kids. I want to have kids. I want to have kids with the. Selfish reason. Oh, yeah. So Because you don't want to do it for the society. You just want yeah, to do yeah. it for yourself. For, for my own good. All right. In that case, I won't blame my kids. Right. I don't understand that actually. If having a kid is a selfish behavior, then I won't blame my kids. All right. If I think, oh, if if not having a kid is selfish, then then once I have my kid, I will feel like I sacrifice my time to make you exist in this world. How come you treat me like shit? Right. That's my. So that's so my you mean you mean having a baby mm -hmm. is selfish? Should be selfish. Should be selfish. Should be. Selfish. And, but so you just like against your girlfriend's mom, like yeah, but but not. Having a baby is not selfish. Yes, yes, totally bullshit. No, I mean like, for most of the Asian people, having a kid is like a, one of your family duty to yes. explain your your family's last name or something to you too. To me, no, I don't care about my last name because I am more like the Western style. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually have nothing to do with my parents. If they need me, I will help them, of course. Yeah. But they are not gonna have interfere with my life anymore. But they never say something that they look forward to have a kids from you. Yeah, like not directly, but you can hear it. They, the wish that they have for yeah. me to have a kid and to get married, because they worry. Because they, they are the old generations. They, that, they are definitely the Chinese mm -hmm. Asian traditional. Okay. Kind of type, but for me it's like I. I just want to do it if I want it, or if it just happened, then I'll just accept it. It just happened. Yeah. Sometimes it's in. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it just happened. All right. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I wouldn't say that. Like so. Not having a baby is not selfish. <laughs> okay. I think. Okay. Good. That's my first question. Okay. Second questions. I um, spend about one full day, one and a half days with you, and I have seen how you interact with your kids and your wife. Mm -hmm. And my second question would be: when when I'm hanging out with my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, that I feel like she's having an attitude of not thinking that her behavior could change, could have any change for the outside world. Make make it like have an example. It's like just like voting for the president. Okay, so she, doesn't really she matter. Vote. Doesn't really matter whether you vote for this guy or that guy. Mm -hmm. Your one vote doesn't really mean anything mm -hmm. because the outcome, the result, is stay the same. Mm -hmm. That makes her pretty passive to 
have some effort on ex like how do you how do you say this as a citizen to believe in herself that she got some power to influence others ah okay so i think that's so, her personality yeah yeah i could say so yeah and by seeing your behavior to your kids you actually have your own thought that you want to make your kids maybe you think that your kids could like your behavior with your wife would actually influence how your kids see the whole I don't even know what I'm asking the whole world? yeah <laughs> so I mean like you want your girlfriend to be like my kids that can learn from the behavior of others to be more active I, I want my girlfriend to not to underestimate yes okay her own power okay yeah all right I mean it's a totally different story you know people when people get older they it's more difficult for them to change they kind of they have their own value that they want to do anything they but, won't copy but I, I can still see that you try to influence your wife to go to Australia you believe that you have the power to influence and you are doing it right yeah that's my personality I believe I always think positively that everything can happen if I want it even though I fail right now I'm going to try it again and again until I achieve it and I think that should be for everyone um that is that is a big should crash everyone should have like some sense this kind of power everyone should have this potential that they could eventually do something to change the whole thing around it i don't know that is that's a good character a good personality mm -hmm. because you are actually making something happen in the world and yeah. you do some influence on the world and then you put your effort on it yeah but i know but until some point you're just gonna understand like this world has many many kinds of people some of them just want to go to the countryside and fishing every day then that is their choice okay yeah what we can do is just support support them support and you cannot and say anything make to them stop them make them stay the same no you don't need to do anything <laughs> You just want whatever decision they make, you support them, and then you do your own thing. If you want to want someone or anyone to be influenced by you, yeah, you don't need to just talk it out. You just do whatever you think. Is oh, I right mean, just to show do. them, just and show them who I am, and then if they like it, they will become someone like me. Yeah, because you prove to the people that you can influence them. And then they might like this personality or this kind of behavior. Mm -hmm. And then somehow they might do it. Alright. Yeah. Okay. That's my second question. Alright. Probably my last question. Alright. So. Yeah. So. How to how do the ending? The ending will be like, um, I'm really thankful that Elwin hosts me for two nights in this lovely Hong Kong high building house and uh, really thankful All right. that you somehow have a day off okay. <laughs> from your co captain job okay. to squeeze your time out for hosting me for one day no problem, not at all. I didn't lose anything. And then, like, seeing you hang out with your kid actually, like, make me learn something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I'm, like, I'm not really knowing how to hang out with kids, but I try my best. Yeah, you, you learn one day. Yeah. You know it one day. And then, now uh, you still want to convince me to go to Australia afterwards? I support every reason that you make, but you're going but to Australia. Time, but you, you are going. I'm telling you. 
Alright. Yeah, you are going to. I will I will see you in Australia. In the future? Anyhow. Alright. Oh we will make more YouTube videos then. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Alright. That's the video for today. Hope so you guys enjoying some of our stories. Yeah. And I'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.